In this video, we're going to be using the Revo Point Range Scanner. Hey, what's that in the sky? Huh? <laughs> so this is the Revo Point Range Scanner. Um, we're going to be doing a full 3D body scan of my child, son. And this is within the actual application. Now, over on the left-hand side, I had the laptop with me, but this does actually have Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to a phone. I was looking up on the left-hand side um, as I was scanning around, trying to make sure that that is in the right range. But on the right-hand side there, you can see if you're too close, too far away. Um, pretty good. Only took, I think I, this is my second scan for the day. And I got a fairly good scan. Now, one thing to remember, try not to go over the same spot. That'll help you get a bit of a better scan. And so this is the scan that comes up. Now we can do one click. Um, yeah, let's just press one click and let it do everything. And like that, it's baked the model. Now, we've got some holes, so we're gonna have to fix these all up a little bit. But the tools are kind of in there to make our life simple. To fix the holes up, we go into fill holes, and we'll click detect. Beautiful, there are a few holes, that, just because uh, clearly I just missed a little bit of data. That's fine. I'm gonna do a control A to select everything, but I don't wanna do the ground there. Now, I am just gonna cancel that. I do wanna get rid of the floor super quick, so let's go cancel. And on our tools over here on the right hand side, we can kind of start going around and selecting what we don't want. And we just go bin. All right, let me just move around, get closer to the feet. Let's try that again. There we go, get rid of all that. Delete, delete. Uh, and just give me a moment while I do this. There we go, it's a bit better. Let's go detect again, control A. And then we're just gonna click apply to fill all the holes. All right, that one didn't really work because we missed this bit. Now the reason why that's empty is probably because there was a watch and that was a bit, bit too reflective. I think I might just have to fix that in post. Lesson learned, don't wear watches. Fill holes, let's go detect again. Control A, apply, and everything else should be filled. Beautiful, I'm happy with that. We're not really gonna see the bottom of his feet. Um, but that is looking pretty good. Now, obviously it's a little bit difficult to get a person, but as a low poly character in the background, you wouldn't know, you'd be none the wiser. Now let's go into simplify the mesh. I'm probably gonna bump this up because it's gonna be a low poly character. Let's go up to 80% and I'm gonna hit apply. From here, I'm just gonna go into export and we're gonna go check to model, export it out as an OBJ. Save. We can now jump over into Blender, File, Import. Let's select our character, Import from Wavefront. The scale is gonna be super off, so I'm gonna select everything. Scale, 0.01, there we go. Let's make sure our texture's looking good. Excellent. From here, let's line this guy up into orthographic, and I'm just gonna use him like this. Let's just try and get his heels in line and then come on side view. I think that is fairly close. Lovely, not too bad. So we've got this problem with the hand. Because we're gonna go for a low poly character or kind of like a background character, I'm not gonna focus too much on that issue because you're not really gonna notice it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it as is. However, if we come in, we can see how dense the mesh is. It's fairly dense. So let's clean that up. I'm gonna come over into the modifiers, add modifier, generate, nope, deform. Nope, it was back in generate, decimate, collapse it. So at the moment there are 691,000 faces. I'm gonna go 0.07, just pull out a number. And let's see how much the character changes. Not a lot, but if we go into wireframe, we can see that there has been a drastic change in how thick it is. So if we were to duplicate it, and we got rid of that decimate, now we're going to wireframe, you can see just the thickness. I reckon we might even go a little bit lower on this one. This is at 48,000 frames, um, faces. Not much of a difference, that hand is terrible. Let's go 0.04, really go down low. 27,000 faces, excellent. Now obviously if you're going for a you know, important character, you wouldn't do that. But to have him as a background character, we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna apply the decimate. Um, let's get him to the right scale. So I'm gonna go Shift A, add in a cube. 
That cube is two by two. So we'll bring him down and he can be probably 1.3 meters. So that's 1.3. Delete the cube. Shift A and we're gonna control A and we're gonna apply all the transformation. So it's back in the center. And now if we wanted to, we could go through the whole rigging process and ring him up. So he's got some very basic movements. Actually, yeah. I am just gonna go armature, single bone. Let's go something like this. E to extrude and there and there. Select our character, shift left click on the rig, control P parent with automatic weights. There we go. Now let's go into pose mode. And we can see that he's, uh, you know, do, 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 do. <laughs> then we can see how he can move around, have a look around. And then, yeah, there we go. So we've kind of like really very quickly rigged up a basic character. What's that in the sky? Is that a plane? I don't know. <laughs> Hmm, what could that be? <laughs> Let's look up. Oh. <laughs>